Welcome to LoveCAD. Here is easy to follow tutorials in SOLIDWORKS. Today in this video, we will create plumber blocks parts and then assemble them in assembly section of SOLIDWORKS. So let's first see the drawings of plumber block. Now first let's start with the bolts. So for this, in SOLIDWORKS open new, select part, ok. Start from the front plane, go to sketch. First select the center point rectangle and create one square. Go to smart dimension and assign the dimension. For this side it is 24 mm. This will be again 24. Next go to features. Select extrude boss base. Extrude this up to 8 mm. Now select the surface. Go to sketch. Create one circle on the origin like this. Now assign the dimension. This is of 12 mm. Now again go to features. Select extrude boss base. Extrude this up to 95 mm. Ok. Next select chamfer. Give dimension 1 mm. Select this face apply this now go to top plane sketch now for the shape of head uh, we will select a center line create one center line on this origin like this select a circle create one from this end Go to smart dimension, assign this uh, dia as 50 mm, again select circle, create one bigger circle like this. Now select line and join this quadrant to the bigger circle quadrant like this. Again do the same for this top quadrant. Now select trim entities. And trim the rest unwanted entities. Ok. Next go to features. Select revolve cut. Click on ok. So we have the shape. Now again go to top plane. Select sketch. Create one line uh, joining these two outer lines. Go to smart dimension. This length is of 28 mm. Now go to features. In curve, select split line. In sketch, select uh, current sketch. In this section, click on this body. Type of split, select projection. Click on OK. So this body comes in two part now now go to appearance select miscellaneous in this select pattern and there is one screw thread pattern bring this to uh, this part of bolt and in this section select the face so we have done with the bolt now for appearance, again go to appearance, apply the color blue, ok. Now save this. Name this part as bold. So we have done the bold, close this. Next part is nuts and lock nuts. For this open SOLIDWORKS. In SOLIDWORKS, open new, go to part, click on OK. Now for nut, select top plane, go to sketch. First select polygon, create one polygon uh, on this origin. This should be of 6 edges. Now select circle, create one concentric circle like this. Go to smart dimension. Assign the dia of this circle as 12 mm. 
this is of uh, 20 mm okay in features select extrude boss base in direction one select mid plane and extrude up to 12 mm okay now select chamfer uh, add 0.5 mm chamfer to this edge okay now go to this face right click come to sketch uh, make one circle from the center up to this edge now next go to features select extrude cut in direction one select blind uh, draft angle should be 60 degrees check on flip side to cut click on ok so this is the shape of nut now we have to copy these features to this edge for this select top plane click on mirror in feature to mirror select cut extrude 1 click on ok now the last step go to appearance in appearance select miscellaneous in this select pattern and bring this screw thread to this face in this section select the face so we have done with the nut last apply appearance i am selecting this color for the nut ok now go to save as name this part as m12 nut this next we have to create lock nut for this just go to boss extrude one right click click on edit features and in dimension change this to 9 mm okay so we have done with the lock nut too uh, now go to save as and again save this part as lock nut Click on save. Now the next part is body. So for this, in SOLIDWORKS, open new, select part, OK. Now go to front plane, sketch. First create one center line, which is vertical to this origin, like this. Now select line and create one rough sketch, something like this. This is given in the drawing. ok now select circle and create one circle maintaining the horizontal relation with this line like this join the quadrant next for dimension go to smart dimension assign this circle dia as 48 mm this height is of 14 mm Now this length is again 5. This height is of 68. This is of 16. Make this 4 mm. This is of 208 mm. Let me adjust this uh, center line. Okay. Now again go to smart dimension. Now this is of 54 into 2. That is 108 mm. This distance is of 56. Okay. Now go to trim entities and trim the extra part which we don't need. Like this. Okay. Next, 
just select all this sketch click on the mirror entities and go to features select extrude boss base in direction 1 select mid plane and extrude up to 46 mm click on ok so this is the basic sketch now select the surface right click go to sketch create one circle assign the dimension as 54 into 2 108 mm now go to features select extrude cut in direction one select up to surface and check on this surface click on flip side to cut okay so this is the cylindrical shape we want in the side view of this body next again select this surface go to sketch create one circle maintaining this uh, horizontal relation create one center line from the origin like this now for dimension go to smart dimension assign the dia as 14 mm this distance is of 76 divided by 2 that is 38 ok now select all this click on mirror entities go to features select extrude cut in direction 1 select through all click on ok so we have make the hole now select this uh, lower surface click on sketch again do the same create one center line from this origin like this now select center point rectangle create one on this same center like this go to smart dimension assign this as 26 mm now this length is again 26 ok now select this sketch click on mirror entities in mirror about section select this center line click on ok now go to features select extrude cut and in direction 1 select blind and cut up to 10 mm click on ok so we have done this now the last step just select this surface again go to sketch select straight slot and create one slot here maintaining the horizontal relation again now for dimension go to smart dimension this length is of 20 now this height is of 12 mm ok create one center line again go to smart dimension assign this distance as 162 divided by 2 mm that is 81 mm ok now again select the whole sketch and click on mirror entities next go to features select extrude cut now in direction 1 select through all click on ok so fillet is remaining for this go to fillet uh, in fillet parameters radi add radius as 8 mm click on these two edges the first one and the second one click on ok so now it looks perfect now go to front plane select sketch select line and create one line from this point something like this 
make a close figure okay now for dimension go to smart dimension assign this as 4 mm this height is of 8 mm okay now go to features select revolve cut and in axis of revolution select this axis click on ok so we have done with this now for appearance click on edit appearance give any color i am selecting the yellow color click on ok now go to save as name this as body and save this next part we are going to create is the cap of plumber block so for this in solidworks open new select part ok start from the front plane go to sketch First create two center lines. And the second one. Both the center lines should pass through this origin. Now select circle and create two concentric circle. Like this. Okay, now go to smart dimension and assign this dia as 96 mm the bigger one and the smaller circle die is of 48 next select line and create one sketch like this again go to smart dimension and assign the dimension this height is of 8 mm this is of 16 Now this height is of 12 mm. This distance is of 108 mm. This is of 56 mm. Okay. Next select trim entities and trim the extra sketches. Okay, now simply select this sketch and the center line and click on mirror entities. Next go to features, select extrude boss base. In direction 1 select mid plane and extrude this up to 46 mm. Okay. So now uh, select this surface, right click, select sketch, create one circle over this surface, assign the die as 108 mm, go to features, select extrude cut, in direction one select through all and click on flip side to cut click on ok so this is the shape we want on our part again select this surface go to sketch create one center line like this select circle and create one circle maintaining the horizontal distance horizontal relation Next go to smart dimension, assign this uh, circle die as 12 mm, the distance of this circle is of 78 mm, ok, now select the whole sketch, click on mirror entities, ok, now go to features, select extrude cut, in direction 1 select through all, click OK again select the surface go to sketch create one circle and the other circle on this center go to
go to small dimension assign this uh, circle dia as 29 mm again do the same for this circle 29 mm next go to features select extrude cut in direction one select through all change the direction click on ok now i am going to create one plane on this surface for this go to reference geometry select plane in first reference select the top plane in second reference select this surface make this relation parallel ok now click on plane 1 go to sketch create one circle assign the dia as 8 mm go to features select extrude cut in direction 1 select blind and cut up to 16 mm ok now select this uh, surface click right click and select sketch create one circle assign the dia as 6 mm go to features select extrude cut in the direction one section select through all and click ok hide this plane one Now you can check this uh, check this hole from the section view. So we have done with the uh, part. For appearance, go to Edit Appearance. Select uh, any color. I am selecting yellow. Okay. Now go to Save as. Name this part as cap. Save this. Now the last part is these two braces. So for this, in SolidWorks, open new, select part, OK. Now for braces, first start from the front plane. Click on sketch. Create two center lines which passes through the origin like this. Next is the vertical one. Okay, now select line and create one sketch, something like this. This is given in the drawing. Now for dimension, go to smart dimension and assign the dimension. This is of 64 mm. This is 46. Now this is 28. Okay. Now this length is of 64 again. This is of 48 mm. This one is of 44 mm. And the last one is of 32 mm. Okay, 32, 44, 48, 64. Let me adjust this. Done. Now simply select this sketch and the uh, horizontal center line and click on mirror entities. Okay, now go to features, select revolve base boss. In axis of revolution, select this axis, the vertical one. Click on OK. So we have created this shape. Now select this surface, right click, go to sketch, create one line like this. Now simply go to features, select extrude cut. In direction one, one select through all. You can change the direction of cut. So first I am creating the top one. So I will uh, use the top one only. 
So click OK. So this is the half section of the braces. Next, select front plane, sketch, create one circle, give a dimension of 6 mm. Now go to features, select extrude cut, in direction one select through all, ok. So we have done the braces one. Now let's change the appearance. For this click on the edit appearance option give any color i am selecting this blue one okay now go to save as name this as braces upper okay save this now for the next, the lower braces, just delete this extrude cut. Delete this sketch 3. And in this section, right click and click on edit features. Click on flip uh, side to cut and uncheck this. Okay. So we have the lower braces now. Now select uh, top plane, go to sketch, first create one center line like this, select line, make a rectangle like this now go to smart dimension assign this as 4 mm and make the height as 22 plus 8 mm ok now go to features select revolve base boss click on ok so we have done the second, the lower braces. Now for appearance, go to edit appearance, select any color, click on OK. Now go to save as, name this as braces lower, save this. Now I am going to assemble all these part in the assembly section of SOLIDWORKS. So for this, in SOLIDWORKS, open new, select assembly, ok. Now first select body, bring this to the screen, place it anywhere on the screen. Next, in assembly section, select insert component and bring the cap open. Next, go to mate. Select these faces. Now select this side one. Okay. Now the bottom one. Okay. Now uh, give a distance of 4 mm. Now for the next part, go to insert component again, select bolts, open it, place it on screen. Next go to mate, select this cylindrical part and this hole, mate it. Next select this surface on the body and the uh, this surface of the bolt, mate this. Next again go to insert component and bring the nut and the lock nut in the screen, open, place it on the screen, now go to mate, select this cylindrical part of the bolt and the M10 nut, 
mate it select the surface of this cap and the lower portion of the bolt apply mate now again select the cylindrical portion of the bolt and this uh, lock nut next select this nut surface and the bottom of the uh, lock nut mate this again adjust this bolt okay now just copy the uh, parts for this select right plane of the body and uh, in linear component pattern select mir mirror components in this select this three component the lock nut the nut and the bolt and click on apply okay next again go to insert component this time break the bring the uh, braces the upper one first place it on screen go to mate select this hole on the cap and this hole in the braces okay so now select this portion of the cap and the this portion of the braces made it okay so this is logged now again go to insert component and bring the uh, lower braces open this place is place this on screen go to mate now first select this hole in the body and this cylindrical portion of the uh, braces okay change the direction click on mate next select this portion of the braces and this portion of the body this curve portion made this done so we have completed our uh, now we have completed the plumber block assembly so go to save as name this assembly as plumber block assembly Now I hope you all will like this video. If you have any query, go ahead to the comment section and also share and subscribe us for more projects. Press bell icon for updates. Thank you. This is Mrithun Jai Kumar signing off.